Hey there, it's Boots on here. This is just a quick one. We'll see if it works. I stripped out a combi boiler recently and I got this thing and it's a Beru. There's your numbers. It's a spark unit from a combi boiler, from a gas boiler. So it's just a spark plug and a coil with a 220 volt supply. You can see there it had 220 volts coming into it. I could tell from the circuit board and the circuitry within it. Live and neutral. Let's plug it in and see what happens. Keep your eyes down here, middle of the screen. Don't run across the bench on me. I don't see it snapping. I don't want to touch it now because I get a shock, high voltage shock. Insulated pliers, perhaps. So we might need to earth back to something. Power's off. We probably need to earth it back to here uh, with uh, something. In fact, I think if I just screw this in here somehow, just with a bit of a something, can't think of what though. Yeah, that's that's earth back into it. So a nut and a bolt one would do the job, wouldn't it? There we go. The copper wire. Let's do it. That ought to do it. Like that. And over here. Oh, come on. The cables sagging in space just like that should do it it's all earth so it shouldn't matter just let's not have it touching anything else for now what's it gonna do switch it on again there we go so can you see that on the camera almost Switch it off again, the noise of that. The noise of that would go through my head, but you could see it with the lights off. You could see the spark come, jumping across that electrode gap there. Right, so you have to earth it. Simple as that. I don't know what that would be useful for. Uh, let's disconnect that for safety. There you go. I had a self-contained unit made by Danfoss. I put a video up years ago of that's the kind of thing, you know, if you were, I don't know what a 240 volt thing would be though, but some kind of a fire starting device or something like that, maybe. You tell me. Questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.